You guys, I'm back. Regina Richards. Uh, for Regina Touch of Design. Okay, I'm still sitting here. As I told you before, I go to grad school for fashion design and marketing. Well, I go to grad school for fashion design, but my bachelor's degree is fashion design and marketing. I'm just here still chilling. Uh, this is day three. I've been working on my project. It's called Western. I'm doing a collection, um, a clothing line, women's clothing, fall, winter. Uh, for a project, this is my second project in this class. Um, it's 15 weeks long. This is the 12th week. My uh, second project is project is uh, a little late, but <clears throat> um, see the project has to be due week five. One project is due week 10, and then week 15. Okay, this is my one of my dresses I was showing you guys before. Um. called um, Western. This is a black suede with the tonsils hanging on the side. That's a brown, a golden rod shade color. Um, this is the flats to go with it. And I'm just sitting here. It's my computer. There's nothing on it. I need to turn it on. You can see me in the background. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just sitting here finishing this up. Um, that's uh, another dress garment, brown suede. That's the flats to go with it. But these dresses are gonna be all suede. I love suede. This is gonna be the winter thing I've got going on this winter. Uh, this was a flat to go to my other garment. I'm just showing you a little bit of them. But anyway, my voice sound a little ugh, ragged because I just came over a cold that I gotten from my mother. She came down from Florida and <clears throat> I get her cold. But anyway, I'm just sitting here <sighs> having a good time. I like this one actually. But anyway, I'm, I'm trying to finish this up. I got to get all these flats and everything done, cut them out, whatever, yada, yada. But I'm just sitting here chit-chatting with myself. My tooth is bothering me in the front. You can see it's sticking up right here. I have this funny story I'm going to tell you guys. First, I want to let you guys know, never do a dare. I'm going to talk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to yeah, yeah, chatter box a little bit. Never do a dare. Okay, I was 10 years old. And me and my cousin, he know who he is, years ago, decided to do a dare um, to see who could open up a Coke bottle for some candy. Like back in the days, I'm not going to tell you all how old I am, but back in the days, candy was the thing. And we had all these now laters and all kind of packs of candy. And the bet was we had a big bowl and of candy. And the bet was whoever could open the Coke bottle, the glass little small Coke bottle back then with the metal top. And the thing was, whoever could open the Coke bottle get the whole bowl of candy. Of course, you guys, I won. But the results of it, you have to think about. You might do a dare, you might win, but it's always consequences to everything. And the results of that dare was I split my gum when I popped the Coke bottle with my teeth the metal uh top bent and it's in it uh the metal piece of from the top split my it went down split my gum and my lip open and this is the result of my teeth right here it it, it risen like right now since i've been it been okay when i was little it healed um but as i got older in my 20s it get cold it got you know it, it, it get cold and my gums swell for some odd reason and you know me catch a cold and it got an abscess on it and my teeth swell my teeth but when the gums swell my teeth risen and look how high that teeth lifts up y'all uh and look at the gum like at the bottom wait, wait you can see where 
it ripped my gum. This is so painful. Oh, I'm so dying to go to the dentist to get this taken out. It is oh, irritating. And right now, you know, my funds are low. I'm in grad school, and I got to bear with the pain. So I've been gogging with peroxide. Oh, it helps. It get all it kills all the germs. It tightens my teeth back up because this baby, when it lifts up like that, it it's kind of loose. And ha! <laughs> oh my God. And talking sometimes. How about I whistle sometimes when I talk? When it's like a rise up. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm kind of got a natural high, y'all. I'm kind of crazy like that. I just, I just like to have fun. But anyway, I am trying to finish this up. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all the ending uh, progress later because I gotta do all this. Uh, I don't want to hold this thing. I just want to sit here and chit chat. I can go on and on and on, but right now I got to get this project finished and I'll talk to you guys later. Um, and I'll tell you guys what I like to do. But this is for Regina's Touch of Design. Uh, soon, you guys, my clothing line, my business will be coming. I'm going to get my master's degree to start my own business and it's going to be called Regina's Touch of Design, as I said several times. <laughs> but, um,. I showed you guys my office and everything, but I'm going to show you guys other things and what I like to do and all this here. I have an 18-year-old daughter that's a senior. Yes, I think you probably say, what? Yes, I look good mm -hmm. for an 18-year-old daughter. And, yeah, yeah, I'm young like that. I'm not even saying, uh, she look young, but she old. No. <laughs> you would like to know. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to always be fine. Remember that. Um, One day you'll get the chance to see all this fineness. But I got a book coming out. I'm writing a novel. It's uh, it's coming along very, very, very good. Uh, my, I'm going to do the front cover. My photographer, uh, we, you know, we're going to get that together and everything. And I'll get back to you on that. And in the meantime... Sometimes I might get on here and I might chit-chat with you just to chit-chat with you to let you guys know what's going on, my updates, we're regaining this touch of design. And But now, I'm going to finish this and I will be checking with you guys later. Bye. Love you. Am I jacked up too? Ew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Peace out. <laughs>